Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> uh, so I'll let you know a little bit of news. This is Cancel Vlog for Thursday, May 24th, 2012. Um, basically, today here is going to be about a, three posts of different types of news that's going on right now in YouTube land. Two of them are YouTube land, and one of them is very funny news. So stay tuned. Anyways, uh, first off here, I'd like to say to uh, One Pug Life, OnePugLife.com, I'm saying that. Uh, basically, he's being uh, not posting up any new videos here lately. He's had his friend help him out, which is real nice, and uh, all the support to you, man. I mean, sorry to hear what happened with uh, you and Bams. Yeah, choo choo, eh? yeah, choo choo, choo choo, choo choo. Anyways, what happened here was uh, basically he got into a bit of trouble with the uh, local Ontario Provincial Police. Uh, got into um, don't know the details yet, and more to come, basically. Um, anyways, I uh, hope all you guys out there are enjoying the post stuff and stuff, whatever. Different types of news, anyways. Uh, second thing I'd like to bring up here today is that basically what's happening is that uh, CP Rail has gone on strike. They have been on strike since on Wednesday, I believe. And the reason for that is because the Harper government is not paying them enough, and he's getting his little puppet minion there, the labor minister, to force them back to work. Now look what happened with Air Canada. They were forced back to work because of their um, rogue strike or whatever they did there, their walk-off, and they were forced back to work otherwise the unions would have been cut off of their funds and the workers would have been fired instantly and now all about uh, Air Canada would have gone out of business because of it. I mean, really, who cares about Air fucking Canada? I mean, it's bullshit anyways. You paid $2,500 for a flight to go from Toronto to Edmonton, to, from Edmonton to Hawaii. I mean, they got shitty food and shitty services. I mean, really, why would you fly with them again? And look how they're treating their workers. They just they might as well just put a put a piece of donkey shit on their shoe and say, "Here you go. This is fried meat right here." That's a different analogy. Whatever. And that brings us to the end of this here, which is the last story I'm going to bring up to you guys. And this is a very hilarious one. I'm posting a link down below. It's called da, 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 Drunk Man Alive After Run Over by 26 Car Rail Train. Sorry, 26 Rail Cars. <clears throat> now, the guy was walking along, had a little too much stickers in him, got dickered really bad, and the story goes like this. The roar of a diesel locomotive and 26 screeching rail cars weren't enough to wake a drunken Alberta man, and the Mounties say he'd surely be dead if they had. It's a case that has veteran RCMP officers flabbergasted even the overwhelming odds against the solid long weekend camp or surviving being run over by an 8,000 ton freight train. But he had not only walked away intact, the 20-something was still coherent enough to remember his beverage. He got up and grabbed his beer and just walked away, said RCMP Staff Sergeant Dave Dubnik. The man from Crow's Nest Pass area of Alberta has left his campsite near Elko, B.C. and somehow ended up in the nearby railway tracks inexplicably the luckiest lagger drinker in the world and decided the tracks would be fine place for a nap. It was a sharp-eyed Canadian Pacific Railway engineer who noticed the body lying between the rails ahead but stopped the laden freight is no easy task. With his whistle blasting, Dubnik said the locomotive and the 26 cars passed over the man for the screeching train finally came to a stop. Railway workers assumed he was dead. They assumed he was dead. Yeah, right. When they reached him, they thought he was deceased, but the one of them touched him, and he woke up, said De uh, Debnik, who works with the Elk Valley RCMP detachment. It took RCMP dogs to track the napper back to his campground, where officers arrested the man and hauled him to his nice safe cell where you could sleep off the booze in a locomotive-free environment. Can you believe that? A locomotive-free environment. 
<laughs> I'll post the link down below here in the big bar so that you guys see that this story is real hilarious. Now, can you believe the guy who survived, it, who survived a 26 car plus engine it's taking a nap right under the train? I know some people who put their cameras underneath, and that is totally fucking dangerous. I mean, don't you learn as a kid never to stand nor sleep on a railroad track? Hmm. I just tell you something right then and there that reminds me of one story of how they have the cow catchers on the front of the trains on the old steam locos. And every time a cow would know that when his death is near, they just go around the track and all of a sudden, like a bug on a windshield, done. Who wants to fire up the barbecue? Ha ha. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this news story. And as well, this is going to be the last video I'm posting up here for a while until Monday. I'll be back around that time again anyway. So from in the meantime, this is Big Ken 2001 giving a shout out to One Pug Life. And check out his website, I'll post a link down there below too. OnePugLife.com. Dot com. Hey? Check it out and let me know what you guys think. And I am supporting him because he is a real nice guy, even though I don't know him personally or anything like that. But just go check out his channel, rewatch his old videos, and make sure you support and hit like on all of them. And make sure you subscribe to his channel. He needs all the support you can get from his one puckers. Friends, always. Anyways, guys, this is Big Ken 2001. My time is up, and I'll be seeing you guys around, and I'll see you Monday. Peace out, fuckers.